Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch You Want. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Romaine Jerome 1969 Heavy Metal Gray Silesium, 43 millimeters in brushed and polished stainless steel. You can see this Heavy Metal Gray Silesium, one of 99 made for 2014, on our website, watchyouwant.com. And if you click the card in the upper right-hand corner of this screen, you can also see the product listing for this watch. Now, I'm moving the watch almost obsessively through the light here because it does have the ultimate shape-shifting dial. The watch features a silicium dial that's been stabilized and gray PVD plated to play up the highlights and the contrast between the different crystalline structures of the dial itself. This is a macro use of silicium. Unlike the escapement and assortment components we've seen in the past, this one's all about aesthetics and it's a dramatic effect. It goes far beyond any sunburst dial, any grained or brushed texture. This is truly like a transformational effect where the dial doesn't just change its character, but change changes its outright shape and detailing as you move it with respect to the light. The effect is spectacular, but on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, the watch may be the most compact 43 millimeter watch I have ever experienced, and that's one feature that does not change. Now, 50 millimeters from lug to lug, it sounds imposing until you realize just how pared down and generously curved those lugs are, such that they really do contour to the shape of a smaller wrist, and you can see how the strap splays outboard, actually billowing out from the center on both sides. So I can say that although this is a 43 millimeter watch, it could be worn on a wrist my size or much smaller, perhaps even as small as 13 centimeters in circumference. The watch is only 12 millimeters thick and with a sloped bezel and sapphire, this will easily tuck under a dress cuff or any kind of long sleeve. The watch is also remarkably light, far lighter than most 43 millimeter steel sports watches and this in spite of a sterling silver impregnated case back. It features a wonderful, minimally bolstered, but lovingly assembled monotone stitch rectangular alligator leather strap rectangular scale it is calf on the bottom so very soft feels a treat against the wrist and it features a beautifully detailed stepped brushed and polished romaine jerome pin buckle for quick and easy adjustment that contributes to the lightweight of the watch but honestly when you talk about this watch and light you don't talk about mass you talk about the effect of light that silicium dial is singular it's even a breed apart from the meteorite dials that often feature this kind of random crystalline pattern. Now, of course, no two are exactly alike, but what the meteor dial doesn't have that this does have is the explosive reflectivity. And this one simply does explode in any light. The dull glow of my light box is nothing compared to the bright light outside, but I can tell you, even with interior fluorescence, this thing is an absolute chameleon. People will notice this from far more than an arm's length. And the bottom line is that it excels as a watch as well, because underneath that gorgeous silicium dial, you can see the calibrations of the small second scale at, three, at nine o'clock. You can see the overlaid and inboard cantilevered hour and minute scale. It's actually a hybrid disc, and it works in conjunction with extended broad arrow, minute and hour hands at center. It's an easy watch to read, it's a practical watch, it's a fun watch to wear, and with an automatic winding caliber with a 40 hour power reserve, it could be your everyday watch. This is the rare Romain Jerome that's elegant enough to wear every day and fun enough to be your weekend watch. Now it does have wonderful Cosmos character to it, in as much as there is the Silesium dial which sort of mirrors the infinite forms, the infinite dreams that the cosmos inspires in man and has since time immemorial. But the case back is a little bit more concrete, featuring an embossed constellation pattern behind an almost photorealistic engraved lunar surface. Now what you're seeing here is what Romain Jerome calls moon silver, quite literally a combination of sterling silver and moon dust taken from the moon's surface. It's a beautiful little element that I find adds a lot more value than a display case back over what is admittedly a workmanlike Salita SW300 movement based on an ETA 2892. But that tried and true thin automatic caliber is tough, reliable, and with smooth bi-directional winding, never makes itself obtrusive as the unidirectional winding 7750 base Romain Jerome watches can. This one's elegance 
It has a grace to it. It's lithe. It's athletic. It is the Romain Jerome that you could wear every day, and as such, it's a million miles removed from watches like the Titanic DNA and the Pac-Man. This is a unique piece, not just a breed apart from other watches, a breed apart from other Romain Jerome watches. No detail has been overlooked, featuring dramatic star-shaped screws on the flanks. Again, another reference to Cosmos. And, as if that weren't enough, the crown itself is actually indented with four marks representing those made by the lunar lander on the surface of the moon. Romain Jerome's own words, not mine. A lot of thought went into this watch. It's delightful, it's imaginative, it's blue sky dreaming come to life. On your wrist, you can see this 43 millimeter brushed and polished stainless steel Romain Jerome 1969 heavy metal gray silicium. Buy it on our website, watchyouwant.com.